everyone, this is Brandon from Satire Tech, and today we are looking at the Apple Watch Sport. That's right, Sport. This is the, the first model entry into the Apple device of smartwatches. They're, the one I'm wearing right now is the 42mm, which starts at $400, which is actually really high. Even with the big one, it does feel a little small for my wrist. I don't have really big wrists, I'm more of the mid-large section. My LG G watch fits perfectly on my wrist, but that's probably because of this large bezel, unlike the Apple Watch here. As mentioned in the other video, it is running through a demo, but this watch feels a little bit more cooler, unlike the one with the Milanese loop. I'm not sure why, but I hope this can be fixed as mentioned in the last video. Now in a couple of seconds, you're going to see me with the smaller version, which I believe is the 36mm. And I'm actually really surprised about how much smaller it is compared to the one here. The smaller version, which starts at 350, kind of reminds me of the 90s Casio calculator watch. I know this is more intended for the female, but I mean, this thing is really small. Apple also made a big deal about their band, but honestly, it feels like any other rubber band. It is sweat proof, but so is every other rubber band, considering it's actually made out of rubber, just like the other bands. So do not really think about the rubber band that much as any more special than any other rubber bands. And that's pretty much it from what we get from the sport. As mentioned, the software is really the big deal about this watch. And we'd also like to thank Apple for letting us record inside their store. Thank you again, Apple. I'm Brandon from Satire Tech, and thank you for watching our video.